citizens of the free world. I am Hoverman Gop, defender of justice, defender of the people, defender of the earth. I must tell you, there in Bronx, New York, Before I even say it, my inner being, my soul is on fire. Because a 36 year old man, Bronx, New York, on the train. He physically beat, kicked, 78-year-old, I believe that was her age, woman, kicked her numerous times in her face. While doing so, you had other capable males on the train who saw this 36 year old man beat upon this elderly woman and did nothing but watched and the one who video recorded all of them just watched you could see that elderly woman in pain and that man had no kind of remorse, no mercy towards that elderly woman. And you, Mark Goldmass, no mercy from the Almighty God will be given to you for your evil you committed with that elderly woman and I can tell you just by what he did that suspect Mark Gomez, who is now arrested for what he did, I can read into his life. And if I'm wrong, one of you tell me right in my message. But I can pretty much tell you that he did not have a father in his life. He did not have a mother in his life enough to teach him and to be the proper mother to him. In fact, I bet and know that he was a troubled child growing up his entire life. His mother, if his mother was in his life, knowing that his father was not in his life, his mother could not control him. 
I can tell you he was in and out of school system growing up. And it is obvious he has no fear of God. Neither does he respect God. I can also tell you that his record is lengthy. He's been in jail multiple times before and he has some kind of assaults or physical harm, violence on his criminal record. Thought arrest against him was not his first. And to you individuals who watched that lady, elderly lady in pain kicked, you who held that cell phone, you knew that something was going to happen to that elderly leader because when you really record off a cell phone you have to unlock your phone press the video record button and start recording that takes a couple of seconds so you knew beforehand that some danger was coming to that lady that elderly lady and you stood there and watched it all on film. Why couldn't you not knowing beforehand that that elderly lady was going to be attacked? Use common sense and wisdom to get in between them two. As a buffer to protect that elderly lady against that insane suspect, Gomez. Recorder, video recorder, holder, and those who watched are just as guilty as the one who did the beating on that elderly lady, and you should be arrested too. There should have been some kind of aid to that elderly lady before or after both in this case, but you all stood there and watched that elderly lady get beaten and just watched the whole time. This shows us the climate and our world that we are now in. As I stated before in previous videos, there's no respect even for our elderly. No respect, no care for our children. You will not escape your judgment from God. Any of you who watched and seen that or participated by even watching, you will not escape. Blood is upon your hands. Leviticus 20 verse 9 For everyone who curses his father or mother shall be put to death. He hath cursed his father or mother. He, his blood is upon him. Death is already in your life. Suspect Gomez and those who watched your blood is upon your own self. You are already dead men walking. You can only escape death that is already in you that shall be present in your life in one form or fashion. You shall leave this earth a dead man and cursed forever. Unless you repent of your sins and give your life 
to the Almighty God in the name of one Savior who can replenish, cleanse you of your evil, Jesus Christ. The world, society, will become that much more selfish. Everyone is for themselves. The world is for themselves. No care. There's no one to blame what has already happening and will come more upon this land and across this country for evils that is being committed and being rewarded evil in our society now is being rewarded the justice system that's corrupt and is awarding people of their evils of murders and killings and those who make the laws those who claim that they uphold the law and our justice systems across this country is so corrupt there is no balance. And the Holy Word says, and it is true we're living in. What is right is considered wrong, and what's wrong is considered right. What's wrong is awarded, and what's right is not awarded in our society today. I pray for that elderly woman. I pray in the name of the Almighty God that that elderly woman, that you, Almighty God, will comfort her, strengthen her. Pray with me, everyone, that she will never live the rest of her life in fear that she will not sleep and have nightmares but that she will awake with your comfort almighty God that your presence would keep her heal her bones and her physical injuries that she endured from suspect gold mass I pray to you almighty God that you bring people in her life that will support guide and keep her and provide all of her needs only you can give her oh merciful mighty God I pray to thee that it be so done for her that she will never lack nor be in need of her in her life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen